Okay, so here we are trying to work on the next phase of the uh, build here and uh, we're about to glue on some some balsa sheeting but before we do that I want to show this off a little bit I took some pictures of it already but I'm gonna stand this up Brig. Um, see how this stab turned out so some sanding around there and uh, we used the hot wire and it did kind of a messy job right here but it doesn't matter because we're sheeting over it and the other side turned out better this was the first cut so anyway Brig, why don't you tell them how we're going to glue this on there See that tight bond two. two the two is important very important because it's got a, poly a polymer that basically plasticizes it so you can what we've done is we've painted this, we painted both surfaces with the glue, let them dry. Um, they're not tacky even, you can tell it's just pretty dry, but it's still moist enough that the wood's curved. And that's time to, to iron them on, but we're going to actually iron them on. We're going to place our pieces where they belong, and then we're going to iron them in place with the regular old cool old iron right here. Yeah, he's got those sweet old travel iron. That I've had for 30 but years. Any covering iron would work, right? Yeah. Or still your wife's my, my still your wife's or your mom's clothes iron, it'll work good. I ruined my mom's clothes uh, clothes iron with uh, with Monaco back in 1985. <laughs> so that year for Christmas, this was yeah. one of my Christmas. Guess how old I was in 1985, Brig? One. Six. You were six? I was six years old in 1985. I was 15. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing is, the reason I ruined her iron was because I didn't know you had backing you had to pull off yeah. the Monaco. I just tried iron. I heated it up so much, it melted the backing into the rest of it. It worked. It was really heavy, though. <laughs> but anyway, I learned it the hard way. I didn't have anybody to show me how to do it. Yeah, Briggs got a lot of initiative. He always has, huh? Just... Someday. He's willing to just take on a project and figure it out as he goes. Just gotta nail it. I'm I'm trying to work on that, but I'm not so much that way like Brig is. <laughs> All right, now so, we want this to be pretty straight. The more I try them, but the the more I'm willing to try stuff. But Heck yeah, this huh? project's been good for me to learn uh, that I can build stuff, and if I screw it up, I can fix it. That's right. Well, <clears throat> Part of flying is breaking airplanes. Hey, that's not totally dry. Anyway, uh, you can see what's going to happen, and uh, I'll turn this on again when we're doing it.